I attribute 99% of my success in art so far to this one daily habit, and I'm gonna share it with you today. Hi, I'm Anna, and I'm an artist. I paint and do resin art. And today I'm turning on the camera to have an artist to artist chat with you to share something that changed my life. And we'll do the same for anyone who tries it. This world is full of problems. We are all looking for the answer to our problems, aren't we? That's what drives consumerism. Every advertisement is trying to show us the answer to our problems. Well, I found the one answer to all of my problems. I'm serious. And it's not something you can buy on Amazon. It's not some productivity system. And it's not some list of life hacks. It's a person. Seven years ago, someone very close to me had a tragic accident and passed away. Processing the grief led me to some strong realizations and convictions. Life is short, this world is passing away. I put my hope in eternal life rather than the things of this world. I reoriented myself towards heaven as my goal. I wanted to be with my loved one again someday and I wanted to live life to the fullest now so that whenever my time comes, I will be ready to go to my true home. Several events and people played an important role in moving me towards the change that I wanna tell you about. I began implementing one daily habit that takes 20 to 30 minutes each day and it has been transforming every area of my life. So here it is, daily meditative prayer. There are as many ways to pray as there are people because prayer is a relationship between you and God. But the method I use to structure my prayer time is called Lexio Divina. And I explain it in this video here. It's amazing. Doing Lexio Divina every day has literally transformed or begun a transformation in every area of my life. From something as simple as magically having more time in the day to something as deep as living with lasting joy, daily prayer has without a doubt changed the direction of my life for the better. Here's a list of some of the things it has done for me. Number one, I have more peace. I am a happier person. I'm more productive. I can work hard when it's time to work and I can rest when it's time for leisure. My burdens are lighter and I've found a place where I can truly rest and be renewed. I've been able to organize my priorities and act intentionally according to them. I have learned about who I am and what gifts, talents, and desires God has given me. I've gained clarity on how to live more in line with my true self and use those talents and desires to serve others and to enjoy life more. I've been able to let go of certain bad habits and live with more freedom. I've been highly aware of ways I waste time and more intentional of ditching those things. So I have time and energy for what's important. I've gotten rid of my smartphone. I almost never fall into the trap of scrolling on Facebook and Instagram. I've been able to shift from surviving parenting to thriving throughout the challenge of having six children in eight years, starting a homeschool co-op and running an art business while still making time for activities I enjoy, like exercising, reading, book club, getting together with friends and family, and going on dates with my husband. Since starting to pray, I have created hundreds of paintings, done dozens of commissions, tried four new art forms, taught hundreds of hours of dance classes, started a YouTube channel, produced 80 videos, started a Catholic artist group, and participated in three art shows. I've done artworks I never would have thought of or attempted unless I'd been inspired through prayer and convicted through prayer. For example, this painting for mothers who've lost a baby through miscarriage, abortion, stillbirth, etc., to give, to acknowledge the mother's grief and also give witness to the hope that we can have. This started with just an inspiration in prayer and then was just an idea that I jotted down in my journal, which turned into a simple sketch that I made to show some fellow artists, fellow Catholic artists that are really supportive of me and my work which turned into months and hours of working on this piece and then finally being able to finish it and show it in a pro-life art show. Along with posters and prints and cards that I have done and um, sell on my website. And that's just one example of how starting with prayer and being open to what God is gonna do in my life has opened the door to possibilities that I never would have tried otherwise. A few more benefits this daily habit of prayer has done for me. I've had more time for what gives life to me and my family and spent less time on what isn't going to matter in the end. I'm not saying that prayer has made me perfect, far from it. More like made me aware of my imperfections and given me trust in God's mercy and forgiveness. I'm more grateful and aware of all the blessings God has given me. I love my life. I've made a best friend forever and it's the God of the universe who loves me and he loves you too. And if you know him, you know that and it gives you the source in the summit of your life. And if you don't know that yet, you are in for an amazing encounter. 
If you're engaged or married, do you remember waking up the morning after he proposed and looking at the ring and living such a happy day because you were basking in the knowledge that someone loved you so much he promised his whole heart and his whole life for you? Well, I feel like I live with joy now because I am in love and I feel loved. That reminds me of it every morning when I come to him in prayer. And if you haven't experienced this, you're gonna be really skeptical. It's gonna sound weird, but if you give it a try and come with an open heart to God and be willing to let him come into your heart and change you, then you will know. I promise you will not be the same. So anyway, those are only some of the wonders that God has done for me since giving him a little of my time every day. If you already spend daily quiet time with God, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't yet experienced this and are longing for more, get ready. Because if you truly open your heart to God and ask for Him to come in and work in you, you're going to be taken on an adventure way more beautiful and amazing than you can ever imagine. So I recommend clicking on the link in my description and watching the video titled Lexio Divina, how to pray and hear God's voice. We're looking up anything good on Lexio Divina to learn about this incredible way of meditative contemplative prayer. If you really want to support this habit, don't let it be a standalone thing in your life. I have a video here on the downfalls of going it alone in faith or trying to fly solo in your art endeavors and some easy ways to ensure that you don't fall into those traps. So watch that video and I recommend that if you're successfully able to make quiet prayer time part of your daily life, that you seek out a community or a spiritual director, or even just one faithful friend dedicated to supporting you on this incredible journey. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you want to hear my best tips and encouragement for you next week, subscribe to my channel, and I look forward to chatting with you in the future. Take care. Keep up the great artwork.